hapa hivi ni kuna data ambayo nime calculate the, the this is um, statistics 2 combined with 1 nime calculate the mean this is the mean the mean is 50.7 nime calculate the variation variation using this formula nimepata hapa ni 4 14.5 that one uh, nime calculate the standard deviation ambayo ni square root of variation sasa Ah, uh, ukiangalia okay, total frequency ni 100. Eh, Fx ni 50 70. Summation of Fx square. Fx square ni 29.98 all of that. So nataka nikuonyeshe venye unatumia calculator ku confirm hii sansa zako so that kwa sababu you can likely make a mistake. So once umemaliza ku calculate na so you can check using your calculator directly. So kitu ya kwanza tunafanya kwa calculator yetu tunafinya mod finya mod unafinya mod unapata comp sd so tukifinya 2 tunamaanisha tume select sd so finya 2 ukiangalia calculator sasa hapa iko na sd hapa so standard deviation so tuna already tuko na x which is the midpoint so hapa tunatumia midpoint na frequency kwa hivyo the first midpoint tuko nayo ni 9.5 so unafinya 9.5 right kwa sababu 9 frequency eh, iko na frequency ya 7 unafinya shift and then this comma here this comma here sawa inaleta hiyo comma alafu sasa unafinya ile frequency frequency ilikuwa 7 Hiyo ni ya kwanza. So, to add it to the memory, you add M plus. Memory plus. That is the memory of the calculator. So, you have a hapa. Hapa. Hiyo 7. So, our first N is 7. It may sub the frequency. The next number is 29.5. So, 29.5. Sawa. Ikuna frequency yangapi? 21. So, unafinya shift this 21 you add m plus this next 49.5 49.5 shift comma you put you input the frequency the next one is 38 3 8 you add to the memory Next one is 69.7, 69.5, five, sorry, 69.5. The frequency for 69.5 is 27, so you shift, comma, yes, and then 27. Then memory add, add the memory, 93. Then the last one is 89, 89. Point five shift this dot here and the last frequency is seven so after that you add seven so when you add that our total frequency is 100 so we have this 100 and we are finished so once you have done that we have finished the entering to memorize the data data here to done kwa hivyo sasa unaisa ac unaisa toa Sawa, so memaliza. Kwa hivyo yenyewe, ime calculate kila kitu sasa. The next thing unafanya, unafinya shift, shift number one. Ukifinya shift number one, hii ya kwanza ni summation fx square. Summation fx square. Ya two, number two inamanisha the answer for summation fx. This is summation fx n ukifinya number 3 na kuleta total frequency so kama frequency yetu ni 100 so nikichukua 3 ina niletea 100 very good another thing i want to show you so you can remove that you again ufinye shift shift mifinya shift 2 shift 2 ina kuleta ya kwanza the mean number 2 is the standard deviation this one is the standard deviation and this is the mean 
sawa so nataka tu confirm kile ambacho tulifanya kwa hivyo natoa awa awa kwanza awa n ilikuwa 100 so nafinya shift 1 n stands for the frequency so nafinya 3 and then answer inaleta nini 100 ambayo tulikuwa nayo hapa 100 next thing you to cancel that you finish shift 1 this is the summation frequency square so unaangalia summation frequency square ni 298505 so nikifinya 1 answer ni 298505 so una confirm namna hiyo unatoa unaenda next nataka kucheck nini mean mean ni 5070 divided by 100 which is 50.7 so mean ni shift to number 1 plus 1 answer 50.7 Next nataka nini? Ah uh, uh, can even uh, uh, total fx. Total fx hiyo ni shift 1. Ndio hii. Total fx so nafinya 2. Answer inaleta 57 ambayo hapa ni 57. Ah uh, finally tunaangalia sasa the standard deviation. Standard deviation una cancel hapa unaweka shift Two. Number 2 two is the shift zone so afinya 2 and the answer. Standard deviation in 20.36. Namba hiyo hapa ni 20.36. Sasa hii calculator haina variance. Na tunajua variance eh, okay standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Si ndio? Kwa hivyo inamaanisha nikitaka variance I will square the standard deviation. So if you want the variance you square the standard deviation and which is 41456 ambayo ni 41415 asante sana kwa wale ambao mko na hii calculator it is the same procedure you start with here you select to sd mode and that is it and the process is the same kwa sababu iko na hiyo comma our comma is here memory plus is there so the process is the same using this uh, what to avoid yani ile makosa nataka uzuie the statistical information the statistical information or the statistic information yenye iko hapa ndani kwa mfano ulikuwa umekosea ukiwa ulikuwa unataka kuweka for example 58 shift comma 6 or 6 ukakosea ukao umeenter na umekosea unaona inaendelea kuhesabu kuanzia 100 ikienda mbele kwa hivyo ukitaka ku kama umekosea you start afresh and after starting afresh you make sure you clear first so what you do in case you make, make any mistake us continue what you do you have to clear the memory completely so what you do you come here you shift clear and then clear all these three pick three that one has cleared everything and you start afresh otherwise ukiendelea itaongeza kwa hivyo kwa statistics unarudi unaanza sd unaweka tu and you start afresh so usi ukifanya mistake usiendelee una clear the memory alafu unaanza fresh